Our headlines for today, werewolf activist imprisoned for owning illegal fury sedative, orcish workers union in talks with government over their pleas, and rap group questioned over their pro-eco-terrorism lyrics. Now let's open up the shop. Good evening, Mr. Hyde. Evening. Are you by yourself tonight, sir? Gala is coming. After his shift. Hmm. It's pretty empty here. You're our first customer tonight. <laughs> um, is there something wrong? Nothing. It's just a bit strange that you say our. When obviously there's only you here. Oh. I guess it's just me, but when I'm working, I always put myself as the barista and the coffee shop. I see. Anyway, I need to order something. What do you want to drink tonight? Hmm. Do you have any blood? Er, sorry, sir, but we don't. Come on, did you think I was serious? Oh. Nah, give me a ginger green tea. Make sure it's very warm and bitter. Okay, ginger green tea, and it's got to be warm and very, very bitter. Okay, let's see. We got our tea and some ginger and, you know, uh, lemon. I don't think so. Honey, no. Let's just throw in some more ginger in there. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. That'll make it bitter. Okay, let's brew it. And there we go. We are brewing our ginger tea. And now let's serve it to Mr. Hyde. Your drink is ready. Let's see. This is nothing like what I ordered. Oh my, that was a mistake. Let me get you another one. Yes, please. Remember, ginger green tea, very warm and bitter. Hmm, okay, where did I mess this up except- Oh, wait, okay, green tea. That is very different from regular tea. Okay, yeah, there we go. This should work fine. Green tea and the two gingers. We're brewing it. This one should be good to go. I messed up the teas, but this is fine. Let's serve it. Here's your warm, bitter ginger green tea. Finally. By the way, if you don't mind my asking, ask away. You said you're here for work. Yes, for a couple of weeks. You're not in the medical industry like Mr. Gala, are you? Hell no. I could never imagine myself doing something so... Hmm, what's the word? Something as honorable as that. Hmm? Then, are you dealing with something I shouldn't ask about? I'm not a criminal in case that's what you had in mind. I mean, it's not an evil job per se, but definitely not as honorable as working in a hospital. Then what is it? Guess. You travel a lot? More or less. You befriended a startup founder, so I assume you either have your own startup or you work in some kind of investment agency. <laughs> I used to, but not anymore. That startup founder, he's just a friend. Then what do you do? I've had many career paths in my life. They got boring after a while. So right now, I'm a model. I didn't expect that. But you have the looks and the figure. So I guess it makes sense. You want to know a secret? Sure. Those ads for anti-aging skincare products. No way. Vampire models. We are naturally good looking. Skin paler than an elf's. But we don't have those annoying pointy ears, which makes us basically a bunch of good looking living mannequins. How better to advertise anti-aging products than with people who naturally don't age? Isn't that false advertising? Heh. <laughs> Don't be naive. Truth is a matter of circumstance and perspective. 
advertising is just framing the truth. I never thought of it that way. How long have you been modeling? Oh, not long. Not much more than 30 years. Wow. Ooh, another customer. Good evening. Can you please be a little quieter? There's another customer here. Act like a civilized person, if you can. Oh, come on. I'm just trying to make this place a little livelier. You don't mind, right, sir? No, I don't mind. I'm pretty sure I saw you the last time I was here. You bet. You could say I'm a regular here. Hence the attitude. Hey! You look very happy. Any special occasion? Nah, nothing. This is my default state. She has only two states. Either extreme excitement or super stressed. Stop putting me in a bad light. Anyway, what were you talking about? We were talking about Mr. Hyde's profession. And what's your profession, dear sir? I'm a model. And he's been doing it for 30 years. That's a long time. Not for me. My current liaison in the clothing brand I work with is the daughter of the guy I worked with when I started modeling. Usually I work until it's the grandchild. That's really cool. I'm Freya, by the way. Nice to meet you, Freya. How's the writing so far? It's okay. But I'm stuck and in need of a warm drink. So, brew me something, please. Coffee? Nah. I need to take it slow tonight. Make me something warm and sweet without coffee. Alright, warm, sweet, no coffee. So maybe we should do something with chocolate. Alright, and mm, milk is making it cold. I need to keep it warm. So what if we do tea? And then honey, and what can make it sweeter? Uh, no, yeah, I don't like, yeah, let's not do milk. Tea, honey, and what if we do more honey? Yeah, that should work. All right, let's brew this one up. I love these animations. And there we go, honey tea, let's serve it. A warm, sweet drink ready. Nice. A perfect drink to end a day. Glad you liked it. So, you're a writer? Yeah, I work for the Evening Whispers. But I'm also working on my own novel right now. Sounds interesting. What kind of novel are you writing? Er, it's complicated. You should wait until she finishes it. Yeah, no spoilers. That's if she ever manages to finish it. Yeah, that too. What's the genre? Slice of life. So, not fantasy or sci-fi? Hmm, I'm still not sure. Probably it'll be normal slice of life. You'll have tough competition. You're not wrong. I'll probably put some surreal elements in there. Maybe I'll set it in a world where only humans exist. Heh. <laughs> Sounds a bit racist. That's the twist. This isn't about racial supremacy. I imagine even in a world where only one race exists, problems will still appear anyway. Discrimination and racism will still happen. How can they be racist without other races? Differences in language, nationality, ideology, or even skin color. When everything's the same, the smallest differences will stand out. Perhaps it's diversity that can teach us to look past the differences. The bottom line is, we'll always find a way to hate others. I assure you of that. 
That doesn't really sound all that funny. Hey, it's fantasy. That's what fictions are for anyway. Painting the what ifs. <laughs> That's actually pretty interesting. I'll buy your book when it comes out. And I'll fly back here to have it signed. Aw, thank you. Ooh, another customer. Who is it? Hi, everyone. Good evening, Miss Lua. Hi there. How's it going? Great, thanks. Lua, please meet Hyde. Nice to meet you, Mr. Hyde. And Hyde, please meet Lua. Hi. Are you by yourself? Yeah, just finished a meeting. I needed an escape from my co-workers, so I decided to come here instead. Is Bailey's coming? Oh, he's not. He's a freelancer, remember? He's free to do whatever he wants. Is everything okay? To be honest, we haven't talked much since the other day. Oh. We shall fix that with a warm drink then. Good idea, thanks. I'm in the mood for a green tea latte. Green tea latte? Is there a problem? No, it's nothing, sorry. Then a cup of green tea latte, please. Ooh, green tea latte, what do we do with that? Green tea, obviously. Um, probably milk, and then more milk? Uh, yeah, that sounds right, but let me just double check. Do I have a green tea latte here? Oh yeah, I do. Perfect. Okay, yeah, let's brew it. And now it's time to serve it. Your green tea latte is ready. Thank you. I don't know why, but I was suddenly longing for a green tea latte. Like, this drink feels really heartwarming. Call me pretentious, but I think drinks have the power to connect people's hearts. That's surprisingly deep for a cup of tea. By the way, about Bailey's, has he visited this place again? After our last meeting? Not that I know of. He hasn't. Oh. I should apologize for the commotion we caused. Please, don't worry about that. Who is this Bailey's person you keep mentioning? Silence. Bailey's is... Or was, I don't know. My boyfriend. We had a little fight a few days ago. About what? Hey, is it okay for him to just ask her like that? You tell me. Dude, I'm just a customer. You're the owner of this place. It's an old problem. I'm a succubus and he's an elf. Hmm, the usual racial problems then. Psst, show some manners, old man. What? I'm just following up on the questions you started. It's alright. Bailey's and I have different views on the importance of family. My family is pretty close, and usually they're supportive, but when it comes to dating an elf, they fear that I'll be treated like, uh, like a peasant. Bailey's, on the other hand, he comes from a well-respected elven family. They can be cagey at times, I get it. But for whatever reason, he took his family for granted. It's not surprising that his family would disagree with the relationship. You don't sound like most succubi I know. How's your boyfriend dealing with this? He said we should just keep going, just the same as we have been for the last 10 years. 
So you have been together for 10 years as a couple and he's suggesting that both of you should just go on as usual. I mean, your relationship for the past 10 years. That was without familial approval, right? Well, yes. But I want our relationship to move forward. I want a family. Did he disagree with the idea of marrying you? No, quite the opposite. You wanted to marry me. What's the problem then? It's not that simple. His family will disown him? Yes. He wants to marry you even if he has to leave his family. Yes. Problem solved then. Why do you have to care so much about what his or your family thinks? Just marry him. Make a family of your own. It's not that simple. I don't want to be held responsible. If he regrets his decision one day, abandoning one's family is not a solution. What if marrying me is a mistake? What if he regrets leaving his family? I can't take that kind of responsibility. I can't let him make that sacrifice. Lua, did you ever think about the risks when you started dating him? Yes, no, maybe a little bit. We didn't think it would get this far. Huh. From what I can see, you're the problem here. You're pretty greedy for wanting it all. Him, family approval. If you're asking for racial reconciliation, might as well ask for world peace. Old man, stop talking. Lua, if I may ask, do you want to marry Baileys? I love him, of course I do. Even so, I can't let him leave his family for me. It would be selfish because I can't do the same for him. I love my family so much, no matter how messy they are. Well, that's difficult. So, you're forcing your boyfriend to have the same life as you have. That blood is thicker than water mentality won't work here. Not every family is worth fighting for, you know. Some are, not his. Have you ever met Bailey's family? No, they always rejected the idea. Did he try to introduce you to them? He did. You can't have it all, lady. This is not a fairy tale. This is not a story where some fairy godmother will suddenly appear and grant your wishes. This is how things go in real life. You have to take chances and make sacrifices. And you choose which one is best for you. Pretty simple. I... I'm sorry, I have to leave. I hate to be the girl who always runs away. But thank you for the advice. Take care on your way, Miss Lua. I will. Bye. You were super harsh, old man. Huh. But you agree with me, don't you? Well... You didn't have to say it so harshly, you know. What are you doing here by yourself anyway? Trying to pick a fight with everyone? I'm waiting for a friend. Oh, that's probably him. Oh. There he is. Good evening, everyone. Hey, Gala. How are you doing, Freya? I'm fine. But your friend here is one hell of a troublemaker. What did you do this time, Hyde? Stated facts. Harshly. To someone that needed it. But not the way you said it. Let me order a drink first. Then you folks tell me about what happened. What are you having this evening, sir? Do you remember my fury remedy? 
I mentioned it a couple of days ago. The one with ginger and caffeine? Yes. Can you help me try to figure out what it is? Sure. Should I try mixing the ginger with tea? Yes. Tea, ginger, and I'm still not sure what the last one might be. Okay, I'll try experimenting with it. You'll know when you get it right. Let's do this. Okay, so we're gonna need some tea and definitely some ginger. What could the third ingredient possibly be? Maybe lemon? Let's, let's try that. Let's see what happens. Let's brew this ginger lemon tea. And now let's serve it. Here's your drink, sir. Hmm. I'm 100% sure this is not the remedy I would need. Let me try brewing another one. It's okay. I'm more interested in the story anyway. So, tell me what happened. She's a better storyteller than me. Alright, so there's this girl. One recap later. And that's about it. Hide. Oh, Hide. You never change, do you? Oh, both of you are going to judge me for being honest now. Dude, honesty is good and all. Listen to her, Hide. She's got a good point. Ugh. Not you too. I was a bit surprised though. Usually, you don't bother with this kind of thing. I've seen you actively avoid it. Huh. You do know me. We've been friends for years. Yeah, of course. I don't know why I got involved in that discussion. I guess the vibe in this place has seeped into me. I understand. This place does have that special magic. Not exactly a good magic, judging from the reaction I received today. You may be right, but there are better ways to say what you have in mind. Anyway, I've got to go. So soon? It's past midnight. I need to get some sleep. Take care on your way, Freya. Sleep tight. See you guys. Why are you staring at me like that? Nothing. What did you want to talk about when you told me to meet you here? I was just bored. And that's the surest way to make you come out. Seriously? I thought the story from Freya was enough. To fill your daily dose of interaction. Well, it was something indeed. Hmm. You said something about being my friend for years. Yes, why? Do you ever wonder what we'd be like if we hadn't met? What do you mean? Forget it. It's late anyway. I need to get back. Huh? Alright, Mr. Ahmed, thanks for the evening. Pleasure was mine. Bye. What was that? You know him better than I do, Mr. Gala. Care for another drink to end the day? Huh. Sure. Oh, what a day. <laughs>